a.k.a. Best Bell Bonds. Big game coverage live from Las Vegas. Powered by Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, Synergenics, and 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. This is the morning huddle live from Media Row, brought to you by a.a. Best Bell Bonds, Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, and Synergenics. We've been waiting for him all day long. He finally got here. Tony Gone of e, uh, All Elite Wrestling, our new favorite thing to watch. Man, I, I, we're AEW fans down in San Antonio. We're glad you're here. Thanks for having me on. It's great to see you guys. We had a great show there around the yes, holidays. Great to be there this past December, and I can't wait to come back to San Antonio. We'll be back in Texas on Wednesday night for AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite on TBS. I thought last night we had one of our best Dynamite shows ever. How about Sting winning the World Tag Sting Team Championship? It. Sting last night winning the Tag Team title. Uh, first Tag Team Championship uh, for Sting and first championship for Sting in over 12 years. And what a legendary career he's had. And uh, I'm excited to come back to Texas on Wednesday in Austin, Texas, and hopefully back in San Antonio soon. Just a little north of us in Austin. Yeah. Are you guys uh, by any chance going to be here through the weekend? Unfortunately, no. Heading home on Saturday to rest up after this week. But a lot of people are. There are a lot of people around here. What's going on? Let's point them in the right direction. Saturday night, we've got AEW Collision right here just outside Las Vegas, Henderson, Nevada, minutes outside the, the city, not far from the Strip. It's an easy trip. And Saturday, that's going to be the place to be. It's going to be a great show live on TNT. You guys are built for this weekend like for for i mean like the super bowl is like the run-up to y'all in a lot of ways um not to diminish obviously what this is but everything about this kind of energy um i like things that are epic and therefore i like you guys like i like things that feel bigger that you can feel bigger as, as in terms of being a part of i mean like how do you how do you do that on a on a like regular basis I love wrestling and just having uh the motivation to be the best wrestling company and do new things like grow to be the biggest wrestling company in England where we have the most fans, uh, we have the most TV audience, and we have the biggest attendance. So I think we built a great uh, thing with AEW, and I love wrestling, and it helps us when it's a 52-week year business. It's a year-round fight, so you never give up, you never let up. Tony Khan, the CEO, founder, president of it's, it's, AEW. It's a lot. You did all, you yeah, did all like it. Just grandmaster. Is you are. Maybe the you're best you're running the place. I'm curious, for entrepreneurs who have Opportunities to do a lot of different things, and you have. Why wrestling? Oh, not that, not that you're nothing wrong with it, but you there's avenues, and I know your family history. You used to put on shows and doing, you know, dealing with athletics, but it's a rather volatile field. Why, why'd you choose this one? Well, I, I work in a number of great sports. Work in the NFL with the Jacksonville Jaguars as the head of data analytics, and work in the Premier League as the general manager, sporting director of Fulham, and I love. Uh, competition, but frankly, wrestling was ready for AEW. Wrestling needed a challenger to step up and a company that could week to week be the best wrestling company in the world, which AEW is, and put on the best shows like we are every Wednesday on TBS, every Friday and Saturday on TNT. And America needed somebody to bring wrestling back to TBS and TNT. These are institutions. TBS was built on pro I grew wrestling. Up listening to watching Gordon Sumner doing Gordon all the Gordon Soley, set, yeah. Gordon Soley yeah. and the Junkyard Dog yeah. on th- Saturday afternoons on TBS. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So much of what you do is, correct me if I'm wrong, data driven um, and data influenced. And data influence is a weird thing to say because that implies there's some level of subjectivity, which is the opposite of data. But how do you how do you do that with this? I mean, like maybe it's things like attacking television ratings or markets or or thing I mean, your eyes light up a little bit but I'm just so fascinated at this world and the conversations you must have on a daily basis it's the one of the greatest things I could ever hope to do is to work in pro wrestling and I love I love all the different sports I work in they're all different and I love them for different reasons I, I don't have any kids so I can only imagine uh, just in terms of trying to divide your time and attention, you know, you love all, you love your different, you love your kids and you love them in different ways and you love different things about them. And, and for me, that's how I feel about my work. I love the NFL, I love the Premier League and I love AEW so much. So it's, uh, it's great working in a sport and an industry like pro wrestling where you can make it whatever you want it to be, but to me, I love getting feedback from everyone. You know, I love working with the great wrestlers. I have an idea, I have an outline of where I want to go. But to me, the the input you get 
from the fans is the most important thing. And of all the creative input you can get, the fans have the most important input of all. When, when you think wrestling, of course, you think the relationship between the individuals and the fans, the, the, uh, the, the traveling road show that it is. Compare what it's like with wrestlers as opposed to, you know, British soccer players and American football players and what the different challenges are one thing, but how are they all three unique or, or, or the same or you do this deal with the same issues? What a great question. And I think that for me, I believe, you know, there's common aspects that you're working with athletes and their contracts and things like that. But really, they're all very different. They're very different sports, very different mindsets, you know, different uh, data, like we're saying, different data points that you would use to rate them and try to uh, evaluate. But there is, just like we're saying, I am very data driven in decision making across all different properties. And I do think there's a lot to be said for uh, human interact, you know, human relationships. And the most important thing, whether it's uh, the NFL, the Premier League, or wrestling, is the, the human relationships of the people. And I think we've built a great team in AEW, and that is how you win in sports is with a great team. What I think is unique in terms of your entities, you correct me if I'm wrong about AEW, is the NFL is, has no challenger. Um, the Premier League, I mean, all due respect, Bundesliga is fine, Serie A, right? And there are other things like Champions League that you know the Premier League doesn't specifically own. Um, but this is different, and this this is kind of the spirit of wrestling. Is there's there's a challenger and there's a challengee. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, there's absolutely in wrestling now a challenger because that's what the sport was lacking for so long, and now uh, it's a competitive industry again. And it wasn't this way for so long, and I think the current wrestling business is very exciting and AEW is a huge part of the landscape and we were able to change the business when we launched and now to see how much the, the wrestling business has changed and grown and AEW has uh, by leaps and bounds grown and what we've been able to do in, in five years now it's pretty amazing. The AEW continues to grow, and you talked about the competition about the guys across the street. We've got movies out with the Von Erich movies now hitting. Are you seeing kind of a, an upswing, or has this been the kind of arc that you've been do You're on the same arc that you've been over the last several years. I think that it's a really big growth time right now. 2024 is a big year for us. It's a, it's a contract year, and for AEW, we're looking at a huge meteorites landscape and it's a really exciting time for the whole wrestling business but I think for us this is a creative peak this is an exciting time the road to revolution is always a great time for AW fans and this year revolution means a lot of things we know it's going to be a three-way match for the AEW World Championship with Samoa Joe versus Swerve Strickland versus Hangman Page after that great uh, 30 minute draw to open dynamite last night between Swerve and Hangman and we know that it's going to be Sting's final encounter and now Sting and Darby Allen are the world tag team champions. Uh, Tony Storm versus Deanna Perrazzo so exciting and it's crazy to see the growth of timeless Tony Storm and Deanna Perrazzo has been a great addition. We've got AEW Big Business coming up uh, going to Boston very excited for that show at the Boston TD Garden coming up March 13th so it feels like we're going into a really exciting time for the company. When it comes to AEW specifically, you, you all do such a great job of, of making things macro and micro simultaneously. I don't know if that makes sense, but you're, these legacy, timeless things, use your word, that happen in a very small moment, relatively speaking. How does, like, that's such a difficult line to balance. Absolutely. It's really challenging, but it's great being able to work uh, in a business where you can listen to the fans and that you'll always win. And as long as you try to listen to the fans and you know keep a finger on the pulse, you can always find your way. They're like a compass. As you look forward to the future and you talk about all these different entities that you're working with, is there a synergy between the three that you can see in the future? Are you going to be able to cross-pollinate between your Premier League and the football and soccer? Is there a future with the three combined as the delivery channels all meld together? and? Is well, that something that's just... Well, certainly there are venues, you know, Jacksonville has hosted all of them. Jacksonville has hosted uh, Jaguars football consistently and has been a great home to AEW. And we even once, 10 years ago, brought Fulham over for a preseason. 
uh, match against DC United. And then, uh, of course, a great example is London, where, uh, of course, it's a home to me personally, and, and we have London's oldest football club. I love Fulham so much, and we built such a great... Uh, such a great thing right now. I love what's happening with Fulham, the team. The squad is great right now. We have a great coach with Marco Silva. It's a really exciting time for the club in the Premier League right now. And every year the Jaguars go. We're playing our 12th game in 12 seasons now in London. Wembley Stadium has been great for English Football League Championship playoff finals for Fulham, where we won in 2018 versus Aston Villa and 2020 versus Brentford. Of course, Jaguars play at Wembley every year, and this past year, AEW brought the biggest event in pro wrestling and the most ticket sales in the history of pro wrestling. Over 81,000 tickets sold for AEW All In at Wembley Stadium. So, uh, London, you know, we've been able to certainly find a great home for all three at times there for AEW and for the Jaguars, and of course, with London's oldest football team, the Great Fulham Football Club. It's so interesting how all of these are becoming even more worldwide. Uh, the Premier League, obviously not struggling in that capacity, but the NFL is seemingly taking over. The world of wrestling, you mentioned, obviously, your most ardent supporters across the pond. My last question is, you, you don't have the success that you've had uh, in life, but by accident or without any kind of passion. Um, and so these are things you're passionate about in teams and interests that, that you have passion, you know, relative to sports passion about, but they are also businesses. Yeah. So, so how do you... How do you emotionally and personally, you know, deal with that? I guess I'm just fascinated. That must be a really challenge. The way you spoke about Fulham so passionately, it's also a business for you at the same time. Absolutely. I love working with the squad and I love uh, working with the scouting team and the data team, trying to put together the best squad we can year in, year out. And uh, I'm really proud of the way the Fulham Football Club has grown over the last eight years from where it was when I stepped in as the sporting director. And now, especially since Marco Silva came in as our head coach a few years ago, Marco is tremendous. And I'm uh, very, very happy about what he's been able to do with the great squad and what he's been able to do with his great staff. And, and Marco's great. And, you know, that's a, that's a great thing happening at Fulham right now. It's a great thing happening in London with London's oldest football club. And I love that. And I, I love the things I'm doing. It's It's really easy for me uh to go to work every day when i love what i do so much how do you i mean the work is i mean it's i don't, I don't know what your yeah. office looks like it, <laughs> you, just, you must have all sorts of uh things going on i'm fascinated by the life you live i'm grateful for the i don't want to call it just entertainment you provide but just the the things that i can be entertained by and impassioned by so thanks for working so hard for all thank of us thank you thank you very much that's one of the kindest things uh you you know i've ever heard and that's really a great compliment coming from you and i really appreciate it and it's great being on thank you for having me on and i can't wait to bring aew hopefully back to san antonio very soon the texas fans for aew are some of the very best as they've proven time in time out uh every time we're in texas and san antonio specifically tony khan CEW, CEO, president, all things encompassing with AEW. It's been a fascinating conversation. It really has. Thank Thanks you for, for having me on. It's been great. Tony Khan right here on San Antonio Sports Star. That's what we do on Media Row. Come and stay with us. We got more coming. You're on 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star. Belmont's big game coverage live from Las Vegas. Powered by Southern Recipe Small Batch Pork Rinds, Synergenics, and 94.1 San Antonio Sports Star.